What's up guys, here's Twinny, I hope you're doing well, today we're back in automation. You saw the title on the thumbnail, you know exactly what we're doing. Let's get straight into business. First things first, we're going to be selecting our block and cylinder layout, which is going to be a 90 degree V block of course, and it's going to be aluminum. Yes, it is aluminum again. So we're going to do a square setup, so it is 8 liters in displacement. Note all our quality sliders are going to be on plus 15 and uh, we are going to run VVT on this engine. We'll get back to the rest of that. Anyway, twin turbo because it makes it quiet enough to where it isn't a really loud engine. Without turbos, generally things are louder. Now, we're running this thing on nitro meth. We are doing a tubular race header dual exhausts with a bypass valves enabled, two way cat, and Reverse flow mufflers on every. Let's start addressing some issues by changing the year up to 2020 of course. Then we're gonna get into some of the problems like the intercooler, the intake manifold. And I think we are gonna change the compressor size. Now, this, the, this, the decibel reading I'm hoping for is around 35 or 34. That would be really awesome. Let's change the RPM up to our wonderful 8000 rpm rev limit yes i can go higher but 8000 is a nice medium zone between having it reliable and well breaking the engine now let's change the gam profile note this is going to change throughout the whole entire video because we need to get that number as slow as we can without sacrificing too much so it's going to be a twin scroll setup on the exhaust side of the turbo increase the exducer size because it breaks without its being bigger the more boost the more problems of course let's head for our 5000 horsepower mark is where i want to end up anything higher than that i'm still happy with with keeping in mind it needs to be reliable and of course quiet light the reliability figure i want higher than 10 percent <laughs> not very high but <laughs> it's fine i guess so this is looking really awesome so far we're over the number i want to be we're gonna push a little bit further than that and try and make it work without being too loud of course the exhaust is of course as restricted as could be we're gonna go over here and advance our timing so let's go back to the exhaust side of things let's increase the header size of course at the opposite power doesn't even push the sound up that high it's good it doesn't touch that of course the more boost of course we're running into breakages now that is a common problem on this type of engine of course when you're pushing as hard as i do and trying to make it fit the certain parameters these things start to happen lowering the spring and lift retention that makes that makes it a little better in my opinion Try and add compression. Okay, it doesn't like compression. So we're gonna have to remove some of that. Let's just see if this might work. No, it doesn't. This, that isn't working that good. Try adding it a little bit back. Okay, so now we're lowering the compression just a little bit. Down to 9.021. Can profile just a little more. We're on 33.9 of course. Now, here's an interesting. The balancing mass we're removing even makes this engine louder because it idles a lot higher so now we're gonna paint the engine of course 90s theme space age uh, valve covers are gonna look with a gonna look good with a teal color on top of it like that looking really awesome and uh, if you guys find world war history or any type of war history interesting i have a channel for that and i'll link it down below as well as a channel that it's the same channel but still the same thing if you like anything history related that is regarding conflict i'll have a channel linked in down below and of course on my channel feature page on my channel's uh description box thingy anyway let's move on to running this engine doing two pools one looking at it and one looking at the graph so runtime montage let's go
Oh wow, this thing is absolutely quiet as. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoy this type of content, do consider to like, comment, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time.